welcome to Moms and Money, where we talk about managing money, making money, and saving money for the women in the household. Well, my friends, we made it through the month of January, our very first money savings challenge for the year. And I gotta say, I am so excited and so happy about it. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. We're doing monthly money savings challenges every single month. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell next to it so that you'll be notified and you can join in on all this money saving fun that we're having. So let's talk about the month of January. I know uh, from reading some of your comments, that a lot of you guys did really really well you feel like you saved money and then some of you guys feel like you failed and I want to say this it's not about a pass or fail even if you saved your family five dollars you spent less money than you normally spend by even just a little bit that adds up throughout the year so trust me keep going don't stop I'm going to continue this method for the rest of the, of the year I can easily say I saved my my family between 250 to 300 dollars just this month of loan just doing my tracking and my home inventory these are the printables that you can buy in my shop you do not have to have these printables to join into our grocery money savings challenge but if you like to there are a link for them in, in the description box a couple of bucks will get you six different pages that are in that printable bundle um, something that I recently added was this current inventory um, where it's just a list of everything that you have in your in inventory and then you can check them off as you replace these items or you can highlight them if you feel like you need some of these items I just felt like this was this was very helpful for me so if you already purchased this bundle you will have access to this just log into your account and you will have access to this that's in there already but I did really well so let's go over this okay now it did seem like I was going to the store quite a bit and to be honest I was because my kids eat a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables and I just like to ha have that stuff fresh on hand and you know in the beginning I was just getting used to like really paying attention to every single penny that I spend when it comes to grocery shopping I used to just throw things in my cart and the biggest biggest lesson that I learned was how those little luxuries that we like so much how they add up and just eat our budget up for us it was the, the 30 dollar box of k-cups from costco the starbucks k-cups 30 bucks every single month actually 35 bucks i mean if you get catch them on sale for 30 dollars, but usually they're 35 dollars. that was expensive so we stopped getting that the fresh pressed apple juice that i would get at costco for my girls 8.99 for two gallons i mean that was adding up when I, I just replaced those things with some stuff that i found at aldi as well as buying the fruits from costco even though it's a large quantity i found that my family was not eating it enough in order for it to not go bad so i started getting all of my organic produce from aldi and that has been a game changer for me now some of the things i, I don't want to compromise on like my yeah. organic meats i like to use organic ground beef organic chicken for my family i like to use a certain brand of uh, bacon from costco and i like to use Kerrygold gold butter I, those are just some things that i didn't want to compromise on and to be honest with you i really didn't have to now as you could see this is how many times i went to the store throughout the month this is my ending balance as of the 27th of, of um, January. Now I had $133 left and with that $133 that I have here in my cash envelope, I actually have $141, but I'm only gonna spend $133.39. I'm going to go to Costco to like re-up on some of the things that I need like cheese and butter and maple syrup. Um, that's another thing that I don't want to compromise on is the um, organic maple syrup that my kids eat and I'll probably get some more meats to re-up my freezer inventory because this is what I have in my freezer at this point and I just want to make sure that my freezer stays stocked because you know as the months progress you know I won't have that back up in my freezer now I will say that I had a freezer full of meats when I started this challenge but again even if you didn't have a freezer full of meats um, you could still make it work you know what I mean for your family you don't have to do a hundred dollars per person per month because that's what we did so we're a family of four so that's four hundred dollars maybe you need to do 125 dollars per person per month i have two small kids if you have two teenagers who eat a lot more than my kids of course it's not feasible whatever dollar amount you need to do as long as you're pushing towards spending less and really using what you have to me that is a win i meal planned for the month and i felt like that was a game changer because i took all the guesswork out of 
of it for me. And I just kind of knew, even though I hate meal planning, I mean, I hate meal planning. It's just not fun. I hate having to sit down and decide. Um, it really helped me to sit down every single week because at least I had some sort of idea of what we were gonna eat. Sometimes my family, my mom would cook and or my dad would cook and we'd eat at my parents' house and then we'd have leftovers from that. So we would deviate from this plan, but at least I had some sort of idea of what I need to get or what I need to fix for my family. As I'm saying this, I just remembered I need to add something to my list. I've been slowly making this list of stuff that I wanted to get from Costco. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of this from Costco. I'm just going to get what I can with this within this $133.39 budget because you know these things from Costco they really add up. Like the maple syrup is $10 alone. The Kerrygold butter is $11. The bacon can be $15 to $18. So it's like I know I'm not gonna be able to get everything, but I'm just gonna get as much as I can to fit into this budget before we move on to the month of February. Again, there's a link in the description box if you're interested in, in purchasing these printables they have made it so much easier for me and honestly it's like kind of fun like I kind of liked filling this out and this and tracking I kept all of my receipts and my cash envelopes these will be offered very very soon like within a couple of days so make sure if you're interested in these cash envelopes there's a link for it in the description box sign up for free with your name and your email address so I can email you as soon as they go live on my site I love these cash envelopes I would put my cash in there I keep my receipts in there and I would just go into the store with this so that I'm not tempted with my credit card or my check card or debit card to use my card. I use cash. Now, sometimes I'd bring my wallet in and I would have extra cash in my wallet just because I, I would just have it. Going into the store with this really makes you stay on budget. I love this. It, it bends easily. Again, it holds a ton. It hold, held a ton of my receipts in there so that when I came home, I was easily able to do my grocery budget tracker so that I could see, you know, exactly how much money I spent. Now, that was the month of January. So let's talk about what we're gonna do for February. For February, my plan is to continue this. I wanna continue this. I wanna continue to save money for my family. I wanna just use as less as possible and start using what I have at home. One of you guys suggested that we do like use what's in your pantry kind of challenge. So what I think we should do for the month of February is use what's in your pantry. Some Every single meal that you make for your family, use something that you already have at home so that you don't have to make a brand new list for it. Now I know for me personally, girl, it's just not, I can't just do a no spend month. I have to be real with you guys. I just know my family and I know myself. So it's the thought of like not spending anything I, first of all, I don't have my pantry and my freezer stocked up like that, but using something that you had in your pantry or in your freezer to kind of clear it out, I think is a great way to try to save money. So let's try to focus on that for the February money savings challenge. Use what's in your pantry, use what's in your freezer and kind of meal plan around that or meal plan around sales so that we could spend as less as we can at the stores. Again, you have to do what works best for your family. Maybe you need to little, spend a little bit more than $100 per person. Maybe you need to spend a little bit less. Be realistic with yourself, push yourself. Maybe you need to spend a little, little bit less. Maybe you could spend $80 per person, especially if you have very, very young children like under the age of five or toddlers or babies, you know, that baby isn't going to spend a hundred dollars and now I get formulas expensive and stuff like that but try to do what you can now I will say this the downside of this is that it takes a lot of mental energy a ton of mental energy to focus on this but I gotta say the payoff is girl that extra cash that you have in your bank account okay that extra money that you have in your bank account that is the payoff for this as you know I do an annual budget and a monthly budget for my family now these are printables that I have a budgeting printable the link for that those will be in the description box as well if you're interested in not only the meal planning and grocery budget tracking printables but I also have budgeting printables and I have, I have a whole playlist on those you can tap this I right here to watch it on how to use them but I completely changed our um, annual budget and our monthly budget for groceries now to go from I think I had $650 in there originally to $400 so I'm really excited that's a savings of $250 a month girl add that up add that up for the whole year from times 12 I can't really do that in my head really fast but it's over what $1,200 is it $1,200 
a few moments later. Sorry, I had to get my calculator. That's a savings of $3,000, girl. That is a lot of money back into, you can put that in your sinking fund, you can put that in your emergency fund, whatever, your kid's college fund, that's, there's just so, or vacation fund, whatever. You know, you wanna put that towards, you can put it towards, of course, your debt. I mean, that, it's powerful. When you put the energy in it, it's powerful. Now, will I say, is it kind of draining? It is, I mean, it's a lot of energy, but again, it's worth it. This is a small season in our, of our life. You know, our kids are only gonna be small, but for a certain period of time. You know, we're only gonna be counting every single penny for a small period of time because we eventually want to, like Dave Ramsey says, live like no one else where we can give freely. We can not spend freely. Of course, we're always going to be conscious spenders, but take those lavish vacations if we want to. We can do those little um, those little luxuries, as I call them, as our budget um, gets better and as our income grows, or as you grow as a family, as you grow financially as a family, and you, you can incorporate those little luxuries in your budget. But I completely changed my budget, and I'm really, really happy happy about that because like I said that's a savings of three grand for my family for the year and that is just push pushing us closer and closer to where we want to be so that is the plan for February so we are going to use what's in your pantry use up what's in your freezer I'll be sharing all the hauls on my other channel marriage and motherhood so go subscribe to that channel if you're not if you want to see actually what I buy for my family I do a lot of cook with me's as well go over there and subscribe to that channel for that and then over here we're talking the money we're talking strategy over here we're talking pretty soon I'm gonna be talking about ways to make money we're gonna focus on that quite a bit for the month of February ways to make money more money for your family more avenues just to release your creativity and monetize your creativity that's what's important there are many many ways for us to monetize our passions and I'm going to be talking about all of those guys because honestly in this day and age it's kind of irresponsible for us to just rely on one source of income for your family anything can happen so you want to have multiple sources of income and that's what we're definitely going to be talking about for the month of February so leave a comment down below and let me know guys how did you do for the month of January were you able to succeed did you fall short why do you think you fell short and what do you need um, to do better and what can I do to help you to do better maybe I can motivate you more maybe you have an idea for a printable that you think will be helpful definitely leave a comment down below or you can always email me or contact me that way because I love interacting with you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture on the screen and you can also check out my previous video right next to it and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye